Hi everybody. Thanks for coming to my channel. I miss you all. And I wanted to give you an update on my jean. And I actually had an hour and a half to play. So I thought I'd make a quick video and show you all. Uh, my husband's doing very, very well. Really, really good. He's still on a walker. He's supposed to have a ramp uh, to get out of the house. They did come out to measure. The VA approved it. But it's not feasible because of the distance. It would have to be an 18 foot long ramp and it would take him right into the street. And he has to have like a five foot clearing of safety. Uh, so it's not feasible. So we're trying to figure something else out. But he's doing really good. He's still on a walker. Sometimes he uses the cane, but um, that still gives him some pain. So we're going to wait on that. And the only problem he really has is, I mean, I only have two stairs. If you count the threshold, I have three stairs. And yes, uh, it's, it's, it's a problem. But physical therapy comes three times a week. Occupational care therapy comes once a week and they work with him every, well, four times a week. They come to the house. So he only leaves the house um, really for appointments right now. We've had triple digit weather and it's too hot to go sit out in the yard. And that's his favorite thing to do is go out in the yard and read, but it's been too hot plus the stairs, you know. Uh, let's see, that's it. He's doing really, really good. I've been very busy. Of course, he's been very busy with all his uh, therapies. He's not on any pain medication. He never was. The only thing he took was Tylenol because, you know, we don't want to get him hooked on any narcotics or anything. So he's doing good. He can't sit on the sofas yet. He sits in a hard chair. Because uh, again, you know, the, the I guess it messes with the screws and the bars in his back when it's soft. I don't know, but he's got a nice, comfortable hard chair. So everything's good. Thank you, thank you, thank you for thinking of him and wishing him well. I'm sure it helped. So I want to show you what I used. Uh, this is the second time I did the video. The first time I did the video, it was on speed. I didn't know. Thank God I watched it. For, I, I, I looked at it first. So anyway, let me show you what I used. I used the Martha Stewart uh, punch. I used this little ribbon. I used this uh, Maya paper that uh, I got from uh, Anne Elizabeth. She is from the Netherlands, and I sent her some dyes, and she sent me the magnolia stamps, some magnolia stamps, and, just, and this. I did a video about that, uh, if you all want to see it. I used uh, the Happy Cottage. Uh, it's not new. It's old from uh, Michael's. I used the strawberry paper. I used... The Cottage Ivy Memento. I use this, and I think I might have got this. It's old. I think I might have got this at Hobby Lobby. I don't know. It's old. I use the Scrap Diva Charcuterie board, and I use the big one, and the little thing that makes the hole. I used the really cute apron from Scrap Diva also. I didn't use any of the stamps, but it comes with the stamps. I use this stamp that I got from Hobby Lobby. It's a Momenta, yeah. And it's like a wooden planks, yeah. And this is from Bluebird, is it Bluebird? I don't, yeah, let's see. Bluebird Designs, and I used 
the stamps. Let's see what I used. I used the little cutting board, the whisk. I used that, um, what's it say? Whisking you a happy day. I used the cherry, the bowl, and I think that's it. Yeah, and I used the dies, but it left a really wide border, so I wound up fussy cutting it again. I don't mind the border, but I do mind when it's really very wide. And here's Buddy. The only time that we don't have visitors coming to the house, therapists, is Saturday, and I leave for an hour to take him to obedience classes, my buddy. <laughs> He does so good. He does so good at the classes. And then I get him home. Yeah, he doesn't listen to me. I'm still his big chew, chew toy. Uh, my gene says, I love him too much. I give him too much attention. <laughs> my th His trainer said, I talk to him too much that I should just give him commands. But what is that? What is that? Not talking to your dog. I take him for car rides and uh, get him pup cups. Come on, how can you not talk to this dog? But anyway, so I made a, uh, like a tag for a uh, gift, gift card. So this is the back and here's the ribbon. And here is where I made that um, gift tag holder. That didn't come with it. I made that myself. And let me see what Buddy wants. There you go, my good boy. Good boy. I wish you all could see his face. This is that little joily I used. This paper I forgot. It, I think it was a loose paper, but I liked it because it has the green like planks like a charcuterie board has. So this is the doily, and here's the stamps I used, and then cut them out with the dies, and then fussy cut it. And of course I used Copics, and in here, here, and here, I just used red, and then I did the bowl. And here's the cherry. Oh yeah, I used the cupcake too. And this is the, the phrase, and this is the Maya papers. Isn't that adorable? I've been hoarding it. It's the first time I used it. It is so cute. Yep, and that's it. My daughter really loves anything cooking and kitcheny. She's the direct opposite of me when it comes to that. So I made that for her birthday and we usually buy her some cookery stuff and then I'll put a gift card in here also yep that's it so i want to thank you for stopping by i know it's been a long time i missed i i, I didn't think i was going to miss making the video i missed playing of course but i actually i i i missed making the videos i'm like oh but hey so maybe sometime soon i can play again and I don't know, I've got so many new things, not things that you all haven't seen when I did the haul videos and I haven't gotten to it yet. So anyway, that's what I made for my daughter. And that's it. Again, thank you all for the kindness you have shown to us and the thoughtfulness and your prayers. I'm sure they helped. He's doing really good. We are so, so happy. And he goes back to the surgeon in six weeks. After a week, the, uh, the first week was really, really rough because he was on a drain and I had to drain him every six hours. And the wound only needed dressing once a week, but the after a week they took out the drain and the stitches and he was a little bit more comfortable then. And so everything's going well. He's taking a shower by himself now. So, you know, that just shows the improvement. And I thank you all again. Thanks for stopping by. And
and I hope I can do something again, play again soon. And have a great rest of the week. Be good and kind to each other. Love each other and love and peace. Bye-bye.